Hi, this is Nancy, and I'm here again with my friend Ileana, who is the VP of Marketing at Crafters Companion. And we've talked about the paper crafting and the markers, but Crafters Companion is more of a mixed media type of a line. So the Gemini, the Gemini Junior, and all of their um, tools and supplies can be used for a lot of different things. They have done a lot of work and a lot of creative thinking to come up with things that can be used in soft crafts. So soft crafts, as in crafting, and quilting. So they've got a really exciting new product that I'm really excited about and you're going to tell me. Yeah. And this was based on feedback from how people were using the Gemini. It's got mm -hmm. so much pressure that it cuts through so many things that we learned how far people could take it. So we saw that people were cutting fabric, not just a little bit of fabric, but a lot of fabric using the Gemini. And we thought, you know who needs to cut a lot of fabric? Quilt makers. Yep. So we can cut through eight layers of quilting fabric, no problem, which means that we came up with a new quilting solution. This is our Build-A-Block. It comes with 18 dies in it that can make quilts in, do you remember how many sizes? Eight, six, two inch. Three, no, three, uh, three four, inch. six, eight, nine, and 12. Okay, I cheated. I was reading it off the box. <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> so these dies are fabulous. It comes in this great set with these drawers and the dies nested into this flocked. Um, uh, tray here to all keep right. them it all is nice amazing and how many dies are going to fit in this small footprint in your studio. So the, there's there. how many dies in there? Eight, Eighteen, 18 dies, dies are going to fit in this one yep. little pack. Cute little packaging, looks like a little drawer and yeah. everything. And this right. is just the starter set. You can make eighty different um, block. Uh, combinations with it and I'm going to show you how fast you can cut through eight layers of fabric. So I have fabric here. This is just regular quilting fabric. I have my um, Gemini plates that come in the box with the Gemini. So I'm going to put the fabric down and because I'm cutting through so many layers I like to use the metal sheet. Yep. So you see I've used it a couple of times. I'm going to put my fabric down and I'm going to grab a couple of dies. I'm going to see how many I could fit on here. Kind of take it close to the edge. So I'm just because we're one. quilters, we want to point out that we're placing the straight of the grain of the die on the edge so that our edges don't, and then the inside is the bias edge. That's yep, just really go. important. So then I'm going to put my plastic shim on top and then my clear plate, and that's my sandwich. And the Gemini, of course, has optical sensors inside, so when I offer it to the machine, it's just going to take it and pass it right through. All right, so this is the Gemini, the original. This is the big Gemini that goes through with all of these dies. Same power is available in the Gemini Junior, but it's just a matter of size. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, you want to hear these sounds that the Gemini is making. That means that all that pressure is being forced onto those um, dies to cut through. I know someone out there didn't believe me. They're going to see it right now. <laughs> Eight layers. I got to admit, when I first saw it, I didn't believe it. Look at that. So get your, your empty piece here with your 16 pieces of fabric that you've just cut out. All right, very so cool. I have eight of each of these triangles, and they all have the seam allowance built in. So there's your eight layers. Now, was that fast like and that. easy or it what? It is amazing. There's no more having to use the rotary cutter. I mean, how many people have arthritis? How many people are too tired to stand there and cut yeah. all these shapes? And even the cranking. Some machines have mm -hmm. a cranker. This doesn't have a cranker. You just set it in, and it's going to yeah. go through. Perfectly precise cuts. No rotary cutter, no measuring required. You get all those pieces. All right, so that's for the quilters, but then there's kind of a crafting line yeah. to this too. So with quilting comes patchwork and applique, and we have dies for that as well. I have our deer die here. This is again a multimedia die. Multimedia being be, uh, meaning that it cuts through more than just paper. This can cut through denim. This can cut through felt. I'm going to show you how it cuts through felt. This is Look our deer die. Guys. I cut this guy out and I put him on the clutch. Now all we did is I took a piece of felt. Right, and this is crafter's felt. This is just regular crafter's felt, a lot okay. of times made out of recycled materials. And I used our adhesive sheet right here, and this bonds the felt to this adhesive. And I made a sticker out of it. You'll see that I die cut it afterwards using our die, and it has the sticker back. Just peel away the backing, and now it is stuck on here. So there's no sewing required. Yep. More so, I mean, you can't sew through it. It's not an adhesive made to be sewn through. This is an adhesive not meant to be sewed through, but it's going to hold. I mean, it's that baby is holding, and you're um, not going to want to wash it. So you're going to be able to use it on tote bags and, and different things that you're not going to actually wash. Great and, to use. Think of this in home decor. Think yes. of it for a kid's backpack. What I've done here is I've used these really wonderful panel dies. I have some examples here of the panel dies. I think I used this triangle one right here. And I cut out, I placed it on some faux leather, again backed with that same um, adhesive sheet. 
and I just laid it out and I made this trim here. And this is make, just makes it look like a high-end clutch. Does. Now keep in mind when the adhesive is on, you're not gonna use it for, you're not gonna sew through it, but you can cut out all of these super cute little um, designs to use for an applique if you're working on a quilt. So it can be, the designs can be used for applique, yep. just not with that um, adhesive so, on it. And something popular to do with also these miniature critters is to make softies out of them. Yes. So think, imagine making ornaments or little kids' decorations for yep, the I did notice quite a lot of the Christmas designs in yep. this we do. We have also. Christmas designs in this. All right. Line. So this is the Gemini machine. The Build-A-Block is the new tool. And then all of these really cute appliques with the um, adhesive available. Find these all on the Notions Marketing website. If you have any questions, contact your sales rep.